Best practice habits. Get the most out of your limited time. How to always practice the most important things in five minutes. We all have 24 hours per day. No matter what you do, you need to use these hours to the fullest. You need to practice to get better, but more importantly, you need to have fun and live your life too. This video is about how to get super great 5 minute practice, learn very efficiently, have fun and play music. In this tutorial, have fun, play music. Practice efficiently, why 5 minute practice modules? How to plan and split up your practice? Practice examples on Take the A Train, 15 second evaluation of your practice time, full solo manual on Take the A Train, show, play and analyze a short solo on Take the A Train. Hi there, I'm Sam Belgo and welcome to Sam Belgo Saxophone Lessons. You are important. I made this video for you. When you're watching this video, you're already supporting me. Thank you for this. If you want to do something extra to make me able to keep making these videos, hit the like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Let's get started. Have fun and play music. The most important thing in music is inspiration. Inspiration makes you want to do and often inspiration also comes with fun. When something is fun to do, you want to do it more. What inspires me to play music is the sound and the emotion in music, but also the complexities and the how-tos. How do I play this and how do I get this effect? The learning in music, the feel that I get better every time I practice is one of my strong inspirational things. When I'm inspired, I have fun. Practice efficiently. In our lives we do not have unlimited time for play and games. But when we turn around our thinking and think of the goals we reach and how we can have fun and inspire time in what we do, we can do much more in less time and we are having fun doing it. It's only a matter of mindset. Practice efficiently does not have to be strict and tedious. It has to be fun and inspiring. I brought out some material on this, check this video. How to set up a good practice routine and make a practice program. Check the link in the description. Why 5 minutes of practice modules? Everyone is able to overview 5 minutes of time. You can easily imagine how 5 minutes feels like it's a very short time. When you're having fun and doing inspired things, 5 minutes is an even shorter time. You can easily keep your full focus on one thing for 5 minutes. It's not even hard to do. And this is exactly why you want to divide your practice time into 5 minutes practice modules. You can easily oversee and imagine a 5 minute time span and you can always squeeze a 5 minute practice in at least once a day. How do you plan and split up your practice? Starting with overseeing your 5 minute practice. What are you able to do in the 5 minutes? This is a very much a matter of getting used to only practicing modules of 5 minutes. Let's take 5 minutes to find a goal and how to practice this in 5 minutes module. Start with thinking about a goal you want to reach within the next week or so. A goal example could be I want to improvise over Take the A Train, the tune that I played in the beginning of this video. To improvise over Take the A Train we need to learn the basic chords and scales and how to put these into a nice solo. We need to check some solos out of great players to hear and borrow what they are playing on this great tune. We need to divide our goals into sub goals we can overview. First goal could be learn the chords of Take the A Train. There are a lot of chords here. Let's break this into a smaller bit. There's an A part and a B part of Take the A Train. Take this apart. Starting with the A part. These are the chords we need to learn this week for example. Practice examples on Take the A Train. Getting down to practice the chord efficiently. We start with 5 minutes. How much can you do in 5 minutes? I start with the first chord and give 5 minutes to this one. The D major 7 chord. When you practice efficiently, you think about at least two things you want to practice. You will always practice your sound and you are probably also practicing your articulation but your main focus will perhaps be something else. 
like technique for the arpeggio and the rhythm and the periodic feel of one bar. You will need to practice the basic 7th chord up and down. These exercises will practice the basic 7th chord and the timing within one bar. Start rubato, get the feel of the fingers. <laughs> Exercise as much as you want till you have it in your fingers. Going down. Going up and down. And again, you need to practice this till you know it. You need to invest as much time you need to get this right. When you have a good control, start adding timing. Add a beat of 60. First exercise, chord going up. Three. You can keep doing this, chord going down. Three, four. Again, keep doing this till you have it. Chord going up, chord going down. Three, four. This was a five minute module. A good idea is to set a timer, to know when it's time to go to the next exercise. Also, you become very efficient in your practice with limited time. You can repeat this on any given chord in the whole chord scheme. Next step. A possible next step would be to add this exercise or these exercises to all the chords in the A part. Five minute training. Take all the arpeggios up. First make an estimate of how long you will use on eight bars on the chords. I'll start rubato. <laughs> seconds to take these eight bars rubato. Do this two times you have one minute. In tempo 60 you'll use 48 seconds. If you calculate a bit you have four seconds per bar and you have eight bars la di -ya, ya almost a minute. So when you're playing this play it two times in tempo 60. I'll do this one time now putting the metronome on tempo 60 and go for it. Three. Rubato. Two minutes to take it in the timing of 60 beats per minute. Let's take it one time with the beat of 80. So that's a little bit more, that'll take you kind of 30 seconds. We can do this for four rounds. Then we have two minutes more. Then we have our five minute practice. Okay, are you ready? Taking the chords up in tempo 80. You should do this four times, that's two minutes. And I just do it one time to show you the tempo and what, how it's done. Three. This was your five minute training for the course of the A part of Take the A Train. Five minute training, you have all the chords, you played through the chord scheme like 10 or 15 times in five minutes time. 
Again, try this with all the chords in the full chord scheme. Arpeggios up, arpeggios down, arpeggios up and down. If you have done this and you need more exercises, please check the videos on chord and scale in this description. The eight most important chord patterns you need to know and the four scale exercises you need to know. Take these exercises through one chord at a time. Then add small groups of chords like eight bars and then take the whole form. Five minute practice. 15 second evaluation of your practice time. It's important to make some time to evaluate. This should not be a life changing thing, but a swift thought about how your practice went. After five minute sessions, you can ask a couple of simple questions to yourself. Did I achieve what I wanted regarding technique, sound, overview, precision, articulation, and so forth? Just ask it, yes or no. If I didn't, take the tempo down. If I did, take the tempo up next time. Remember to be happy that you can practice. Practice is about learning, not do perfect. Learning is not perfect because you're trying new things out. What you want to achieve is to learn the best and most efficient you can. Full solo manual on Take the A Train. You might know that I have made some of these full solo manuals by now. The purpose of the full solo manuals are to give you a great start on a tune you want to solo over. To cut out the most important information you need to practice when starting on a standard jazz tune and you're soloing. Going through the chords in different forms, leading you through the chord note solo etudes going through the basic scales and giving you tools to play a scale solo on each of the tunes. The full solo manual on Take the A Train is exactly this. A great asset to get you started on enabling you to solo on Take the A Train. If you want a great start on standard repertoire, check the full solo manuals on my Patreon or in my shop. Check the link below. <laughs> Beginning with the chromatic approach note to the F sharp minor arpeggio, the D major 9 upper structure, surrounding the D with the E and the C sharp going up the D major scale. Making a turn on the D major scale, F sharp, G and down, playing the D major triad down, using G as a chromatic approach note to the third of the E7 sharp 11 in the next bar. Going up the G sharp half diminished 7 chord as an upper structure of the E9, repeating the pattern from the D major by surrounding the E with the 9 and the 7th. Running down the E7 bebop scale, adding the E flat between the root and the 7th. Playing down the E triad, adding the bebop scale at the bottom E, E flat and D, playing a triplet arpeggio of the E minor 9 chord. Adding the bebop scale on the A7, the A, A flat and G down the scale to the F sharp, playing the B flat minor 7 arpeggio, the 2 of the E flat 7 tritone dominant. Up the F sharp minor 7 arpeggio as an upper structure of the D major 9 chord, again surrounding D with the E and the C sharp, running up the scale 1, 2, 3, 5 pattern. Playing a chromatic approach note A sharp to the E minor triad going down, playing the E flat 7 arpeggio, the tritone dominant to the D major 7 chord. Great patterns and efficient practice. If you want to check out more on efficient practice and more patterns, take a look at the following videos. All your comments and questions are very welcome in the comment section below. What questions do you have about efficient practice? Like, subscribe, shares are always welcome. All links mentioned in this video are available in the description below. Play music, have fun.